and stuff. I'm okay. Can you hear me? I'm honored to introduce you, uh, prof the professor Gerard Frederick. He is a director at the French School to uh, Extreme Orient in France. He has mainly two specializations. One is Japanese Buddhism in ancient age, middle age, and pre-modern age in Japan. And the other one is the confront confrontation of Christianism with Japanese re religions. He has main publications both in Jap uh, he has many publications both in French and in English, including the stanza of the bell in the wind, Zen and Nembutsu in the early Kamakura period, Voca and vocal vocabulaire de Buddhism Japonais. And, and also Grosser de Philosophie Japonais Français. Okay. Uh, okay. Again, thank you very much, Prof. Jira, for coming to ENOJP 2015. Yes, I thank you very much for your kind and warm uh, words of presentation, uh, uh, Professor Inutsuka, you, and I, I am very grateful for the organizer of the conference. First, uh, Raquel Busso, who invited me here. And but uh, I, it, I am in a strange situation to be a, a kind of key speaker. And as you, as you uh, I am a friend uh, like uh, yesterday that I. Uh, I am able to, to have uh, the K of the university lose, <laughs> and it, it, it would have been preferable to, to, uh, to have another person uh, than me. Uh, and I, I shall speak of, uh, uh, here about the relations, relations between body and soul in, in particular but uh, sometimes it will be without any philological uh, relations between the phenomena. So uh, I can speak of uh, uh, what I, I shall speak with, with seem sometimes uh, it will be uh, rather a, um, a, dis a general de description that uh, a very strict uh, discourse. Uh, a question preambular, preambular to statements undertaken in Japanese philosophy is whether a philosophy exists in Japan. The answer is not given in advance. If philosophy is the search for metaphysical foundation in the world, we can say that it was introduced from the Christian century. If it is defined as the science of being as being, we can also consider that the idea was aired in the West in the same Christian century and has taken shape from the Meiji Restoration from the late 19th century. One can also wonder if at the very concept of being doesn't exist nominally in Japan for its universality cannot be denied. It can be admitted that it is indeed present in the tr Japanese tradition just as it can occur in every human mind in other land that on science Greece. As it can be admitted that the res research of being can define that what is philosophy, even though there is no concept of being no, nor any linguistic exp expression of this being, we cannot deny the existence of either rela relating to the sensibility towards existence and the intimate being of the human subject are expressed in literary text and consequently the existence of philosophy in Japan from the antique times. Such philosophical ideas have been introduced massively in Japan during the Meiji era, so that it is in fact admitted that philosophy itself was not only introduced but practiced in Japan from this period. In reality, the question is more complex as everyone knows first, if we consider that the grasping of being was prior to his, it, this massive introduction of philosophical ideas, that is to the Western national expression of being, being, it cannot automatically assume that the Meiji era 
was the sole period when philosophy was recognized and then thrown in Japan as an evidence. Secondly, Western philosophical ideas were known in Japan prior Meiji, at least by the missionary educational manuals from the 16th century, and then by the by the Dutch teaching and by some scientific ideas introduced and translated in Japan, Nice, in Japan during the Tokugawa period. Concerning the first aspect, we can say that important studies are done concerning what we qualify philosophems, which deserve to draw the attention. And about the second, if it is sure that philosophical ideas were known in Japan, it is doubtful if these ideas were rightly understood and that they had a, a, a large diffusion. In this map, master matter, I adopt the position that to deny the existence of philosophy in, in our science Japan may be due to, not to its inexistence, but to our ignorance and insufficient exploration of documents. The title of my speech is so great that the subject, it seems, cannot be treated, but in this presentation, I shall examine some cases of philosophical questions related to the rela relation between body and soul as they are treati treated in medieval Buddhism and pre-modern thought in which some links with can be esta established. And what is uh, the doctrine of the soul in Japan as long as we can find one uh, that is unified? The soul, Tama, Tamashi, Rei, Kon, uh, is the most ancien, in the most ancient beliefs, native or local, has the appearance uh, as a principle which exists before the body, which is embodied in a body in this life, and detaches to, de to death when the body elements become inanimate, dissolve. W what becomes of it then, according to this same belief that we should reach the place from which it came, the world of spirits, Kami. For the philologist Shikida Toshiharu, even before he was born, every man is given what is called a soul. And while he is in the world, it is this soul which is the master of this body which directs the, the eye ears, nose, tongue, four members, and becomes God when the body, or spirit when the body decays. This body is born of the blood and flesh of the parents, and the soul is a gift of the gods in heaven. So do we know that the body is a receptacle in which the inhabited soul is sometimes this scheme is one that emerged from thinkers native about the soul before there has been, we'll we, we, we can assume, any foreign influence, especially that of Buddhism, in, uh, is the non-Japanese cultural element of the biggest origin. For Bud Buddhism, that came to be graft on local particularistic beliefs, doctrine of the soul as permanent principle, is it possible? If we follow its most canonical text, the soul doesn't appear uh, as atma, ga doesn't appear as an independent principle which pre-exists in the body and survives him. It rejects any doctrine that would ensure that it exists outside the body. That is why it is not considered as a substantial entity. When the question is asked if the soul survives or not after death, it neither answer yes nor no. It never talks of what escapes the grasp of immediate experience and what is beyond the scope of the experiment. The Buddha maybe knows the answer because he because he said to be omniscient, but he probably considered it inappropriate to disclose the, the uh, the truth for, for fear of misplacing the minds 
of his followers on issues that do not concern their salvation. In this conceptual context, in the strict Buddhist obedience, one should say neither one nor the other of his position. This abstention is constant in text from ancient times. The first text in Japan of Buddhist obedience to break this silence concerning this agnosticism and the denial of an immortal soul is surely the letter on Samadhi Buddha commemoration of the 25 of the Yokawa Pavilion of Heroic March. It is the work of the great scholar uh, Yoshishige no Yasutoni, Yasutane, one of the fellow practitioner monk and friend of Genshin. Belonging to this text, it is clear that at deep, the vital principle of man, the soul, ray, detaches from the body to join the paradise of Amida. The soul is separated and independent of the body in this environment, and what is more, it is immortal. The idea became prevalent in Japan in Buddhist circles, including Amidism, and more generally, the pure land thought. It is also shared by other currents. The Genji Monogatari, for instance, inherits the conception of Genshin concerning the autonomy of the soul. This soul is de destined to born in the pure land of supreme beneath at the ultimate state. In the case of women, uh, on the flower, uh, on, on, uh, at, uh, at some level, uh, uh, on, the, on the lotus flower, and to finally realize the Buddhahood in the case of men. So we jump to Dogen. Yes, it is well known that Dogen consider body and soul on the same level and inseparable one to the other. From this viewpoint, he criticized Chinese Buddhism, which advocated the preeminence of soul and spirit in his famous sermons, soul that is soul which is Buddha. Sokushin Zebutsu has an heretic view unfaithful to original Buddhism. It cannot be assigned if the soul is perennial or not. His position is not isolated, but is partaken by other thinkers. As uh, at the same time, uh, at the epoch, as Yosai or Kamono Chomei and many others. It is probably a critique of the ambient Amidist face, which constructs a paradise in a vague future as a mere projection mental projection and forgets the immediacy of the experience of Buddhahood. All projections are cut in, in skit thought. To sit only is not only to sit, but to make abstraction of all superfluous thoughts. He says that to learn the way has to be both a, le a learning by the body and with the mind. It can be said that the position of Dogen is against what he considered as the wrong views of Chinese Buddhism. Dogen treats the stanza of the mind only, Yuishingi, probably forged in the Hieizan middle that he knew when he was young and which had for him nothing to do with the, the original text of the Avatam Saka, Kegon, if we compare it with Mioe. The stanza, as he quotes it, is as following. The triple world is only the one mind. Outside the mind, there is no separate entity. The thought, the Buddha, and the sentient beings are not distinct. For him, the triple world is only mind. Uh, the triple world is, uh, I take it, in the meaning of uh, empirical uh, world here. The, the conditioned uh, world op as opposed to the unconditioned world. And it is not a separate reality. 
It is the actual whole world, not only of delusions, but also of the true awaken, awakening. The Buddha does not stay either outside this world. This truth is the fundamental truth of Buddhism that summarizes the teaching that the Buddha has fully to state, as he says. However, in other schools, like Shingon, uh, here I quote a commentary of, uh, of, this, uh, of this passage of Shobogenzo commentary by Sedney. Uh, and we don't know if Shingon is the school of Shingon or if it is the tantric current inside the, the Tendai school. Uh, it happens that some, some, some scholars teach that this doctrine of the triple world as mind only means and implies a lack of existence of things or the no existence of things apart from mind. In this process, in Shingon are distinguished a sovereign thought, Shinno, there is a mistake here, Shinno, uh, that is Mahavayochana and mental activity that are mandala. But Dogen does not operate these distinctions which would establish two levels. If one suppresses the triple world by a mental act, if in fact he makes abstraction of it, he can liberate oneself of it and thereby see it as it is. This act of vision, Kenjo, is itself an act of manifestation, manifestation or actualization, Genjo with the twofold meaning of the character Ken, Gen, that Dogen use. We, we can read the, the character Ken as Arawariru in, in Japanese. Yes. There is uh, here an exact adequacy to the phenomenal. Dogen illustrates this idea, the idea by commenting on a phrase from the Lotus Sutra he reads. Nothing is better than to see the triple world as it is. Sangai, Sangai wo miru ni shikazu. We have several readings of this passage in the, in, in the traditional exegesis. In the original Indian text, the Tathagata is a subject, a grammatical subject. So it means the Tathagata does not see the triple world as ordinary men of the triple world see it. Songai, songai omirumono ga gotoku narazu. In the Donnaryu currents of Hieizan, resulting from the cocoon interpretation that emphasizes on inceptive that in that inceptive enlightenment, that is an, an enlightenment having a beginning in time, shikaku, and gives a transcendent, transcendentalist reading of the status of Buddha, it is read, the Tathagata cannot see the triple world as beings, uh, of sentient beings or beings of the triple world. Sangai, Sangai, Omiru, Gagotoku, Narazu. In the cur current Eshin Ryu reported to Genshin, which emphasizes the fundamental awakening and stresses an immanent conception of the Buddha, it is read, nothing is better than to see the triple world as the triple world sees it. Sangai, Sangai Omiruni, wa shikazu. But the Makura no Soshi, a Tendai led text stating the fundamental enlightenment as being innate and natural to all beings, the samsaric cycle world is inseparable from nirvana. Shoji Sokune Han no Koto. This text is attributed to Genshin, but it's not true. In fact, it is, it's, it's later. It, it, it reads, he sees the triple world in a different way than the ones who are in it. Sangai no Gotoku Narazushite Sangai Omiru. That is to say, an expression of the profound and provisory truth. But this reading can evidently not be attributed to Genshin. 
Anyway, the reading by Goten, by Dongen of this pas passage is not sure, but it is supposed as Songai no Songai o Mim Nishikazu. Nothing is better as to see the triple word as the triple word see it. And, uh, and we, we do not know if the triple word is an abbreviation, uh, seems only the triple word, or if it is an abbreviation of the beings, of the sentient beings in the triple word. If this reading given by the oldest commentary is the one adopted by Dogen, Dogen was near and close to the Genshin interpretation, though it is not sure that the grammatical subject of the sentience is the triple word, the beings of the triple world or the sentient beings of the triple world. For Dogen, for Dogen all beings, illusory sentient beings and awakened being, Buddha, are equally of the triple world so that his interpretation is an original one when compared with the different traditions. He does not establish, establish several ontological levels in this world as he could not imagine a world of beings or a world of Buddha outside this triple world. Finally, one wonder if this sermon, which is the first composed by Dogen when he retired at Eiheiji, uh, at Echizen, doesn't reflect a critical attitude toward the capital Kyoto's ways of being and also a desire to eremitism, eremitism. We, found, we found the same sentence expressed in another context by Kamono Chomei in his note of my monastic cell when he retired from, um, from Kyoto Middles. In the case of Chom Chomei, this sentence doesn't reflect some contention of the world uh, and of men, but by building his own hell and just convert it into a pure land. In the case of Dogen, it seems also a, crit a critical reflection on the, on the world of men, but it is also the beginning of a constructive vision leading to the funda foundation of a new com community. There is nothing better than to live rightly in this very world, could we say, with him. And I, sh uh, I shall treat a, a letter of the of Kamono Chomei interpretation in, in more details. The fact that Chinese terms used in Japan since ancient times are of significant f um, uh, are, are in uh, um, of significant philosophical balance, it, is all, it also indicates the propensity of the Japanese to philosophical speculations. One example in this regard is Dogen, that by introducing elements of spoken Chinese, interrogative particles, adverbs, determiners like this, such, so, uh, as, what, how, transform them into abstract concepts. The je ne sais quoi, the, the <laughs> I do not know what of, uh, of Yankelevich. That is the very nature of man, and in particular, which is the true nature of being, focusing on their indicibility. Are we not in presence, or in presence of an innate sense of the philosophy of what is the being that only awaited a linguistic vehicle to, to be expressed? The notion, the notion of abstraction, not positive, that extract what is common to several representative of the same genus, but negative, which eliminates what is specific to individuals, as to let appear in a hollow of, an, in a kind of vine, what is void, what is universal, chazo, uh, abstraction by elimination, an abstraction by which one rejects and ignores certain elements or characters attached to a concept or representation. And after the process of this negative abstraction, 
as it is impossible to let the entity isolated in itself, an idea in itself does not and cannot exist, the mind has nothing else to do than to return to the concrete reality in its variety. It is only by this process of abstraction that it is, pos that it is possible to understand what is the individual reality. It is this met method used by Dogen to reverse the direction of a quotation as in his famous analysis of sentences that uh, everybody knows here, so I, I don't quote it. But we have, for instance, uh, somewhere um, the famous phrase, the mountain is not a mountain, it is, it is the reason why it is the mountain. This phrase is meaning in, fast, in fact. For instance, Mont Jouic, uh, Himalaya, Mont Blanc, Fujison, are not the mountain in itself. So speci the, the specific mountain as Mont Jouic and so on are not uh, in themselves the mountain in, in itself. When we make abstraction of their particularities, uh, for instance, uh, Mont Jouic has a cemetery and, and so on, um, appears for the first time what is the mountain is in, it in its quant quintessence. And having in mind what is this quintessence of the mountain, which cannot stay in itself, we can see correctly for the first time here and now what are particular uh, mountains as Mont Jouic and so on. The, uh, concerning the uh, relations between uh, mind and body, we can find uh, in uh, your side, uh, also who preceded in time Dogen and who appears now as probably to have uh, had some connect historical connection with Dogen, uh, your uh, um, wrote uh, is a prominent personality in the history of tea. He, he wrote a, a treatise, a Kissa Yojoki, uh, in which he emphasized the, the fact that tea was a trick intended to nourish the vital principle and to have the, vi the virtues of a bitter drink par excellence. Tea is a medication, uh, I, I jump so. <laughs> is a medication of immortality to nourish vital principle. It is a wonderful technique to have a long life. Nevertheless, Japanese do not know and appreciate this bit the bitter bitterness that tea can provide. In Japan, nobody has consumed the bitter taste and it is only in China that we, make, we take tea. This is why in China, heart disease are unknown and life goes on there. In, J in Japan, many people suffer from anesthesia uh, accordingly because they do not drink tea. When someone does, uh, does not have an active mind, it must without fail take tea. Once the cardiac organ is regulated, it prevents and cures any disease. When the spirit is, uh, is alive, even if other organs are sick, they do not suffer and duly. So uh, Yosai has somehow managed to detach the conception, conception of tea from ritual and ceremonial <coughs> elements that were combined to bring out the value of a lonely test, testing it. Yet it was conceptually interpreted in an <coughs> esoteric perspective that of the five viscera of Taoism. He refers in this, regard to in this regard to texts of Buddhist esotericism and congruently the central or role of the heart in the phy phy psychosomatic and the regulator bitterness in a micro and macro cosmic perspective. The theory that he highlighted on the structure of the five viscera 
have been shared in many fields of the arts, literature, medicine, and cosmological conception during the Middle Ages, which contributed to the success of the treatise of Yosai, constructed of a two, uh, for instance, we, we can find this uh, theory of the five viscera exactly quoted in, uh, in the Jesuit compendium in, of philosophy uh, in, during the, which was written uh, during the 16th century. In his tri treatise is constructed on a twofold structure, the healing of the body on its first, first pass and the healing of the mind in its second parts. He quotes texts wi which repeat frequently the good effects of somatic health on mind to drink a long time. Tea is profitable for the mind because body and mind are no more ill. Kamo no Chomei is too well known to, 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 to describe his life, but uh, the notes of my monastic self is undoubtedly an original work and a more personal and, that, and the more personal that have emerged in Ansayan Japan. In a sense, this treatise resists, or this essay resists to time and philological criticism. It does not take the shape of a mere compilation of historical or bi bi biographical or a mosaic of pure literary pieces. It is concise and powerful in expression. It develops a rigor rigorous dialectic which retains all its, its power of persu persuasion through the use of categories of opposites we are exhaustive. And uh, in my sense, it is because the, this work uh, remains, uh, or be, because uh, this, um, in this work, Chomei, Chomei highlighted universals. And as an example, of, uh, when we read uh, with att attention this book, uh, it's not only related to, to a kind of romantic or, or only sensitive and sentimental uh, record of Mujo, but we can find everywhere uh, the use of of contradictory, of opposite, and, and, contra uh, and categories of contradiction. And in, uh, at the time, from the Nara period, uh, there is a lot of uh, treaties of Buddhist uh, logic, uh, uh, which treat of six categories of contradiction. Uh, here you, you can see the uh, an essay of translation of it, uh, which were uh, very current in all schools, and especially in the Kofukuji uh, Hosso Yuishiki school, at the exception of, Hi of Hiyazan, who dropped away this, uh, the study of Buddhist logic. So we, we can, um, the, the first is the contradiction in uh, verbal terms, uh, gogon, soi. Uh, the second contradiction in principles, dori, soi. Then genetic contradiction or uh, contradiction in the uh, genesis in the production of thing, uh, shoki, soi. Then spatial or uh, local contradiction. Uh, for instance, it is, uh, in, uh, it is impossible to, to have at the same time uh, clarity and obscurity, uh, pleasure, pleasure and uh, suffering, and so on. Uh, but we have also adverse, uh, adversative contradiction by which we want to overthrow an opponent. Uh, 
like, uh, for instance, the cobra and the mongoose, the rat and, and the mouse, and, 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 and the cat and the, and the rat and the cat, and so on. So the contradiction between the obstacle and its cont uh, contrecarment uh, also, so we can we can constate uh, this uh, in this list of contra of what is called contradictions. Uh, there are merely sometimes merely opposites and not only uh, re contradiction. And for instance, when Chomei uh, is speaking of fi of a fish of fish, he gives a, an, uh, an example of birds. And in his mind, that signifies all the animal, all the animals. Uh, by this reading, we can consider that his uh, essay is uh, really a, a systematic uh, description of the world. The first translator in English of Chomei is Minakata Kumagusu. He compares Chomei to the Armenian and monk Haiton uh, Armenio, uh, described by Giovanni Battista Ramusio in his Dele Navigazione and Viaggi, uh, who lived in a hut built by, built by him, even as well as Henri David Tholo, the motionless traveler who advocated a solitary Revolt. It's impossible to, to, uh, to, to read everything. <laughs> so, so it was it, uh, uh, too, too much. The, uh, the individu individualistic quest for the true self, the lonely hero, uh, uh, Arthur, Arthur Gordon Ping or Edgar Allan Poe, or uh, the captain. Um, uh, Ashab Malahad of Manhattan Melville against the ruling uh, social order invaded by Deso Disobedient Civil, uh, the title of a book by Thoreau, claimed from the inside is um, based on the supposed unity of God, the world, and the soul, which is nothing but the soul of the world. And we, c we can recognize here a similar triad uh, to that uh, Kumag uh, Minakata Kumagusu developed in his mandala, uh, which, uh, which are uh, akin to the Kegon philosophical conception of a fourfold Dharmadhatu, the inconceivability of mental and physical facts Jifushigi, the inconceivability of principles where the facts return in the non-duality, Rifushigi, and inconceivability of the unknowable infinity where the other and oneself are fusioning in a uh, in infi infinite uh, relations. The non-violence that Thoreau proclaimed has at uh, its foundation the religion of neutrality after having meditating, uh, meditated on the teaching of Buddhism and Hinduism with his friend Emerson, himself imbued with Eastern religion, including Confucianism and Sufism. The uh, analytical writing <laughs> uh, of Chomei, more than any other, are pointing out contradiction of society. But Chomei is not only a critical social observer, he goes further and immediately situates the debate in terms of existence. He believed or want, wanted to find a resolution to the crisis which he was to the toy, the involuntary actor and observer, in a flight from the world whose fickleness and evanescence are the brand. This negative valence is both a consequence and a cause of its 
own elements, uh, those inherent to the human being and this position in society. The impermanence that is decried from the outset in Buddhist thought uh, has in Buddhist thought a positive aspect for it has the ability to change for the better the disappointing nature of the mundane and the nature of man towards wellness as improved status of things through a conversion of the I. Who says impermanence says indeed potential to trans potentiality to transform reality uh, that uh, um, uh, has disenchanted. Chomei deepens a very personal reflection, maybe the first in Japan, on the person's aut on autonomy by considering the relationships between the soul and the body mind and body members. Body members are the instruments of the mind which disposes at, as it wants of the physical mot motion in the creation of object, objects and phenomena. In this interaction, physical work undertaken by the body, whenever it is tied or in full form, does not affect the mind, so it appears as a self-making. A reasoned and controlled activity conducted by the mind opens up the perspective of a creative work of beneficent operations for the human being starting from oneself. The discovery of human possibilities as a result of a, of a sense of not only retaining but also and perhaps primarily from interference with the chains that bind individuals into a more complex society as it that of a metropolis lead the philosopher to realize that he only depends on the surrounding nat nature. It is the liberation of an alienated man who is considered in the concluding thought of Chomei. His reflection is the starting point of the new medieval man who built on the ruins of an older, of an old older collapsing itself due to its internal conflicts. The terminal portion of his notes is a question and an answer to this uh, question. Um, beyond um, um, so may arise the question of what forms word and man, uh, where it comes and from where he returns. Man is nothing in this world next to the infinity beyond him. His action is limited to the person and he, he is also powerless to change it. His knowledge is very limited. He, he is no more a, a layman like Vimalakirti, but now a complete ignorant whose mental poverty, as Chulam Pantaka, he quotes, in, he mentioned his name uh, in, <coughs> in one passage, does not allow him to know anything. Through a myth theoretical symbolic language, it relies to Amida Buddha in his mind to whom he addresses a verbal invocation of his name, repeated with fear and humility. It is as if Chomei forgot Genshin and his quiet meditation or the representation of, para of the paradise, paradise of Amida, um, because he has the, the book of, Gen in, uh, um, of Genshin in his youth, uh, the, the Rojo Yoshu, and to invoke in the, in the hopelessness of his condition he seems to renounce the projective representation of a paradise, that of Genshin, for the actual consciousness of his state, the, the invocation of the Buddha as in Honen and Shinran case. 
Chomey was an individual, maybe a misanthrope, not implied himself in a restructuration of the society, nor of the Buddhist community, community as was Dogen, for instance, but he was developed, he has developed a unique consciousness of the individuality. The way Chomei speaks of the world, Sekai, that is uh, the micro, uh, when you use the, the word Sekai, that means the, the Miyako, that is Heiyankyo, Kyoto. That is the microcosmos of the capital Heiyankyo under derision is that of a man who has discovered the autonomy of self freed from the alienation of an artificial uh, megalopolis, as to say. The word, the triple word is my man, express this view. Man is what he does by himself, a hell in Kyoto, a paradise when he retires in an autonomous way of life. It is in this sense that Dogen also used probably this expression in his first sermon when he retired from Kyoto to Echizen, Echizen, but in this case, he had the project to establish rules for his new communitary life. The non-theoretician -the considered the body and mind as a, an inseparable whole, it is in his learning containing the progress and achievement of the actor, Zen Chiku, the disciple of uh, Zeami, considered that the assimilation of technical, theoretical, and intellectual knowledge in the mind precedes the final stage of achievement and expressiveness in the body. In this system, elaborated with six circles of progression, marking the evolution of the playing. The first three are of the mind and the last three belong to the body. Zen Chiku seems to follow the chronological order of, of, of appearance of learning, the song and dance choreography, Nikyoku, first, and the three styles of the old man, woman, and warrior, Santai, in the second. His principle of explanation is based not on an antithetical opposition of two plans, but uh, on their complementarity. One expresses and embodies the other, which means that one does not exist without the other. Perfection is the full integration of the spirit in the body that defines koko kakurai, free going and coming, that characterizing the perfect blossoming of talent or innate genius, the flower, in perfect beauty. The adept progress from circle to circle and realize the last, the two last circles of the broken and emptiness when his work is at an end and that his repetition is accomplished. And he mentioned uh, um, a, a proverb uh, concerning this fact. What is the hurt manifest outside in body? Omoi no uchi areba shiki soto ni arawu. This proverb is inspired by um, a keyword of Mencius, which is found in several currents of thought, among them the school of mind or in a, in a sense, uh, Shingaku. What lies in, inside is always taking shape outside. It always refers to the great study. What is true in the inner hearts always materializes outside. This complementarity is not an organic relationship, but an immanent and expressive realization that is also found in mythological taste and their interpretation through the concept of visible and vi invisible that also came from China and its philosophy. The idea that body and soul or mind are integrate, integrated as in some cases a cosmical <coughs> or a metaphysical dimension. 
This dimension, which is rather occulted in a strictly Buddhist thought, uh, as Dogen is, becomes clear when it is sustained by your philosophical background, explaining that the world is itself a manifestation of the low body, the Dharmakaya of the Supreme Buddha Vairochana. Or Mahavairochana, which we translate body of the law signifies in reality the incarnation of the law so that the world as a manifestation of the Buddha is in itself a concretization of this law. This tight uh, adequacy of body and mind in individuals is a particular, particular case of the un, uh, universal adequacy of its two dimensions. This conception, though it was late in the history of Buddhism, was preeminent in Japan from antiquity. Here I may quote uh, uh, a text from Yoe that I have translated in the, in the, uh, the compendium of <laughs> the Jim I see, though I make, uh, I, so I don't, uh, uh, so I pass it away, but it, the Mioe doesn't hesitate to speak directly to a reality devoid of feelings as it was, uh, as if it was a human being, or better, or Buddha, the Supreme Buddha Dainichi. When he, uh, he sent the letter to the, the uh, Iceland Karimoshima uh, in his native village. This text, who is, uh, who has really, uh, who, who is really philosophically interesting, uh, has some correspondence with a short but dense poetic treatise of the monk poet Saigyo, uh, who, like Mioe, refers to the philosophy of Shingon. Its philosophical content connects the world with the Supreme Buddha Dainichi, who is a physical manifestation of it. The monk Saigyo used to come and see Mongaku. He once expressed his thought to him. Obviously, it feels the sight and sound that the external forms saw offered things. The flower, the cuckoo, the moon or snow are all illusory. Furthermore, furthermore, once one indulges in the sound that these things represent, poems and verses that, na uh, that anyone composes are then not incontatory, incontatory formulas, shingon, that indicate or induce the truth. If you sing the flowers, you never imagine any real flowers. If one speaks about the moon, he doesn't speak think to the real, uh, of the real moon. These things are being evocated under the circumstances and according to their meaning and are then abandoned. When the rainbow sky unfolds, space seems to be colored, and when the sun shines, the space looks bright. How they, however, the space is not the light from the beginning. In my case, too, I am impressing my thought with colors and all kinds of things. But as it is like space, it, do not, it does not keep trace of anything. A poem is the real outer body of Tathagata. So when we compose it, one has the feeling of raising a statue of the Buddhist pantheon, and when designing a line, it is as if reciting an incantation. Through this poem, it happen, I happen to understand the law of things. But if one does misunderstood the expression of this poem without following the rule I have announced, he will not fail to engage as one man in the path of error. In fact, these ways of thinking are rooted in the Shingon doctrine of Kukai. Each individual being is a manifestation of the perennial Buddha Mahavairochana, so that what anyone says or does is a speech and an action 
of the Buddha for, for there is an adequacy between each individual and the universal Buddha through the so-called three mysteries. For Kukai, body and mind are inseparable in his explanation of the six element theory in his Sokushin Jo Butsugi, the five the first five elements manifest the principle of things through the five material elements, the earth, earth, water, fire, wind, space. And the six and final elements of consciousness manifest the sapiential insight. How, however, in the case of Kukai, the six elements are not only belonging to condition or relative phenomena, he does not hesitate to link the inconditioned and the inconditioned spheres. The six elements are themselves the essence of Maya. Mahavairochana has his low body. Kukai has put to their ultimate consequences the conception of the late Mahayana. The mental and the physical are placed on the same level that is the reason why they are considered consider an homogeneous and to belong to the same and unique dimension. The ent entire universe consists of the principle and, the, and of the sapiential insight of Mahavayochana so that it is the very body of this Buddha. So I pass. <laughs> Yes, I go. Uh, when arriving in Japan, the Jesuits had to face the facts. The Japanese are animists. They cannot distinguish an animal of a human being, a tree, a rock. Their ignorance is for them obvious in anthropological terms. Everything is imbued with the presence of a divine form of or soul. The pr Ten minutes. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, <laughs> so the translator of the Companion of Gom, uh, so they have to prove the main fit feature of the of the. Of the the main feature of the edu educational work of, of, his, of the Jesuit was trust, the importance of teaching in the first in the first place to the rational soul Japan, that Japanese Japanese they were the best representative in the world to be converted was distinct from the merely appetitive soul that characterized animals and the vegetative soul which is characteristic of plants, minerals, and then, um, and then being soundness. Uh, th this is the reason why they translated first the treatise of, um, of Aristoteles uh, concerning the soul, the, the de anima. But uh, when they translated it, the the translators who were evidently Japanese and not, uh, this was not uh, evidently, uh, the, the name is given of a Spanish uh, Jesuit, but in fact it, the, the work was evidently done by Japanese. They distort the original Latin in the sense of a dualism between body and soul and the faulty state of man in the first passage where uh, where soul is defined. Man, dominat dominated by the disorder of his misery, is deeply plagued by error. Consequently, it is not even, e e even to discern body which belong to the sensitive, profound truth. How much more reason he can not about the, re the real truth of the soul. The Latin text only focuses on cognitive limitation inherent to the human condition. 
the nature, so uh, and uh, here, where uh, the Latin has miseria, Japanese translated using the Buddhist term, uh, doing, uh, uh, wrongdoing, zaigo, making a human being tainted by negative karma according to his previous act. This doctrine of, a, of the twofold truth uh, that in principle is used to stay, to, st uh, to stake a spiritual travel leading from condition to the incondition, from the condition of profanity to that of li the liberation of Buddhahood, takes on a whole new meaning here. It is due to the very particular interpretation of Ikoshu uh, school in a context of persecution, the subaltern man adopted by a facade, a conformity to the dominant ideas of the political authority, the truth, uh, the worldly truth, in order to preserve his privacy and reprehensible amida face, the absolute truth. The partition of the soul and the body, identifying with that between worldly truth and absolute truth, to which the translator carries a compendium in the passage, is erroneous, but found correspondent in Japanese, in Japan. So maybe I pass uh, on me and I go to uh, just the passage uh, uh, here. Uh, in the modern ages, which opens with by civil wars and social breakdown, will break many taboos. Suzuki Shosan was openly indignated by the, qui the quietism of Dogen while belonging to the same sort of school as him. What, uh, he says, what means to meditate by only, by only sitting in his corner? Why forget his own self? It is important instead to hold the self firmly in hand. He advocates doing so as a social morality defining the conscientious exercise of occupation as a work and practice of Buddha or Bodhisattva Leading, leading to the liberation of the individual, the freedom, foreshadowing the new concept of modern freedom, which in my opinion reflects an, an indirect Christian influence. So I am obliged to, uh, to go on to, to, to the, so, uh, uh, to go to the, uh, almost the conclusion, but uh, if I give uh, just a word of Takano Choei, uh, we can say that uh, the, the vision of the Takano Choei at the beginning of the, of the 19th century uh, uh, gives uh, uh, history of philosophy and the nucleus of his text is marked by the passage or revolution which took place between empty rhetoric groundless that of Aristotle and its predecessor which start from the suprasensible this which is beyond forms Keiji Jo no Gaku namely the old theory of yin and yang and the four elements to infer sensitive physical which is under the form forms keiji ka no gaku towards positive knowledge based on actual observation of phenomena the new theory is taken as its starting point from the sensible or the physical order on that basis to reach the supreme sensible. It foc he, so for him, the, the, the history of uh, philosophy 
that he takes as a model is the, the negation of the metaphysics and the affirmation of the physics uh, conceived as a philosophy based on experience. But this was a, a, a general trend during the Tokugawa period, even in the Buddhist middles, who, for, for instance, we find uh, not only in, but in Buddhism and also in Confucianism, that the truth uh, uh, is, uh, the truth can be obtained by free criterion. Uh, the, 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 uh, the sacred text, uh, which are uh, named the shoryo, the inductions, the, the reasonment, and then the uh, immediate experience. Uh, inference is suilio, and uh, immediate experience is uh, genvio. Uh, it's, it's a, uh, this conception is common to Buddhism, Confuci Confucianism, and also in some texts of native, uh, of the native currents of thought. And evidently, the authority of texts is completely uh, obscured, um, uh, historically speaking. So it, it's not evident, it's not uh, so, uh, astonishing that the, the very uh, starting point of the philosophy of Nishida is the, is the immediate experience uh, in, if, we, if we consider the, in a large perspective the history of the philosophy. So, so as to, um, yeah, I am obliged to, to jump to the conclusion that, for, for instance, uh, I have speak of um, the truefold theory of the Jodo Shinshu, but uh, at, at the beginning of the Meiji era, uh, Kiyos, uh, well, during the Meiji era, Kiyosawa Manchi, of the set of the Jodo Shinshu school struggle against the idea, the, the idea expanded, expanded in his sect, mixing the so-called profane truth and absolute truth. Uh, he stressed that it was a deviation to give a consistency to the profane truth as the law of the prince and not as the basis of the authentic morality. And he said that the only raison d'être of profane truth but to lead to the absolute truth represented by the Tathagata Amida. The reason for the strict distinction he established between the two levels of profanity and re religiosity was that the religion was not on the same level as the philosophy. The motive of Manchi's criticism is that Shinshu's adepts follow followed without any discrimination or discernment the imperial or military social order as the profane truth of Buddhism and forget the absolute truth of the Tathagata Amida as being the condition sine qua non of their religious salvation. Uh, as conclusion, uh, I have made a list of seven <laughs> conclusions that if uh, I uh, uh, Try to resume them. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, the, be the best is to read it. <laughs> uh, first, the question of the being. The reason why it arrived uh, does not seem to have been treated as a philosophical problem, problem as such. But everyone who knows Japanese sources feels as if it was approached and omnipresent in the Japanese sensibility. Uh, second, the Buddhist thought from its very beginning is a questioning of what is the being, sat, uh, what is truth, satya, the state of being, and what are the, what are the beings, sattva, when we refer to the Sanskrit key terms of Buddhist philosophy. 
In Sino Japanese translation, this questioning does not clearly appear in the languages, discourses, nor literature, but it is overwhelming in the text and documentation. The case of Buddhism, which searches what I have re in reality, Jiko, Jiko no Shimen Moku, what is the meaning of life and death, Shoji Daiji, gives an obvious example of parenty of such a questioning. Three, uh, third, the way that the relationship be between body and soul or spirit is approached has a tendency to consider that body is an incarnation of what mind thinks or wants. In this sense, the two are considered as indissociated so that body has not only an individual dimension, but also a social one. The Jodo Shinshu Twofold Truth Theory of Medieval and Premodern Times gives an example of such an interpretation of what is body. The Aristotelian theory of mind as relative to body was not really understood in the Christian sanctuary, though some Buddhist conceptions were close to it. Such is the case of Cho Mei in one sense of Dogen or of Shingon ideas. Uh, fifth, the proscription of Christianity and the consequent introduction of only Western physical thought gave an interpretation of the physical reality and of the natural world as a mere mechanicism. As this mechanicism was not sufficient to explain things, it had developed uh, in a kind of vitalism, as we can see by the translate, uh, by, uh, by the adjunction done by the translator as, uh, 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 who, who, uh, where there is nothing uh, in uh, the Dutch uh, documents, uh, adds, uh, for instance, uh, Shin, uh, uh, Shin uh, the, the character of Kami, as as the equivalent of uh, uh, energy, energy, ener energetic forces, or uh, uh, also uh, conscience, consciousness, self-consciousness. <coughs> the same questioning of what is the being can be found in the compendium of philosophy and theology of the seven. 16th century, century, but it was not diffused, not developed. If it's compound, they are treat mainly of the natural philosophy. Such is the case also of the history of Western philosophy by Takano Choei, who traced an evolution from the antique and uh, purely theoretical elaboration to the, uh, which are erroneous, to the right and modern the sciences bas based on concrete experience describing the law of the, the laws of the physical world. Uh, we are personally in favor of the idea that a philosophical attitude existed since ancient time, uh, which is quite evident in particular expressions such as testing or written, uh, written over brush, zuihitsu, artistic, poetic, via views described in singular character bibio, bibio, biographies. The prestige of the, dis, uh, of the discipline of philosophy in Japan in academic circles and among the general public is going in this, to, in this direction. So I can stop here. Thank you very much, uh, Prof. Tira. It was a really great walk. And, yeah, unfortunately, we are running in time, but I, uh, I uh, open the I open for the floor to have some discussion. So please raise your, raise your hand if you have any questions. Because the this the the walks the walk was very really, uh, 
profound that <laughs> 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 and there are many many elements we could talk discuss and I think everyone uh, uh, please Uh, thank you for a very, very rich presentation. Um, my question concerns the notion of philosophy that you apply. And it seems to me that you focus on the objective of philosophy or the object of philosophy defined by the quest for being as you presented it in... in the um, beginning of your talk. Uh, do you think that it is the, the question of, let's say, the form of discourse is completely irrelevant to, um, to um, the question whether something can count as philosophy or not? Do you think um, any thought that concerns itself with a quest for truth or being should be regarded as philosophy, uh, regardless of the form of discourse that it takes. Of um, do you do you understand my question? Uh, no, no, not exactly. Uh, uh, do, do, do you, you want to, to say that uh, uh, the, uh, I focus the, the, my investigation on the fact that uh, where there is a, a quest or a, or a research uh, uh, concerning the, the being, we can speak of philosophy, but this... this the uh, Swiss research is, uh, has nothing to do with the form uh, that is, uh, but I, I don't I don't understand exactly what you uh, what you you say by form. Um, uh, what I mean is, uh, for example, Cornelius Castoriadis in a has um, put forth an argument in a paper. Uh, concerning the question of the end of philosophy, where he says that um, philosophy is connected to a project of open inquiry. And that means an inquiry in which everybody can um, participate on an equal footing. And that is what I mean by a form, a discursive formations, like who can be part of that investigation who can put forth an argument. Uh, so Castoriad is, is of the opinion that that is an essential criterion for philosophy, but you, you seem to be of a different opinion, and I'd just like <laughs> to hear more about that. <laughs> no, no uh, I, I, I am not sure to, uh, to, uh, to, uh, to understand what you, what you, what you mean, but uh, it's for... Uh, in the kind of text I, um, I examined, it is for me obvious that, that there is a systematic uh, inquiry uh, of what is the of what is the, the being. Uh, it, it is uh, uh, what is a thing in I in itself. Uh, this fact is, is uh, evident in the in the case of the sec of the Zen. Uh, adepts uh, 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 who ask the question, uh, wha what is this thing and uh, what is the, the uh, what I am in my in myself? Uh, what is the true uh, the true jiko? Uh, and in in the way of inquiry, uh, very certainly. Um, uh, collective forms of, uh, of approach, we, which were done. So uh, I, I am convinced of, of, of this. That is the reason why, when Dogen came in Japan, uh, what he said was completely 
uh, inadapted to, to the, the Japanese society, in particular of Kyoto. Uh, he was obliged to finally to go elsewhere, uh, as to practice, and um, the koan, as he, ha as he un understood uh, it, uh, in, a, in a community with some fixed rules. So, uh, in, in, in when I spoke uh, here of the Kamono Chomei, uh, it's a, only a case uh, that I take because it is known by uh, every Japanologist by uh, the use of the of this uh, contradiction or what I, the list of contradictions I gave is used everywhere in the in the text. So it seems to be completely uh, uh, formal. So uh, there are a, 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 so, so a lot of treaties uh, concerning the, the Buddhist logic, uh, and uh, they are used in uh, when we uh, when we analyze the, the text. They are really used in in, in all sorts of in, in, uh, of cases that I think it. It has, uh, uh, it had um, a, form, a formal. Uh, it had again a formal uh, shape in, in one sense. So, <coughs> but we, it is more more difficult to 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 see the same fact in the case of Confucianism, for instance, because. The theories of Confucianism were only applied um, to, to uh, almost directly to, to politics and, and uh, till the, the modern, the pre-modern uh, uh, edges, so, th so that uh, there was not a real reflection on the Confucianist thought in, in the Confucianist middle, I pr probably. The, the Confucianist uh, knowledge was used in dissertations in the Daigakuryo at the university, uh, only in a formal way, but n as a practical no knowledge, not at, uh, as a reflection on the, about uh, what is the being. But of course, in the case of um, the Buddhist reflection, the, the reflection of the uh, about the being is very, in fact, it is limited, I, I think. Uh, well, thank you very much for an uh, absolutely overwhelming presentation. I hope right. that this will be available in print mm -hmm. uh, or that maybe uh, this file could be distributed because uh, much of what you said I would like to go over in silence and and uh, uh, and more like um, you know at my own pace because it's uh, really very difficult to to digest. But uh, uh, I have a I have a question relating to uh, the uh, sort of first part or, or the uh, Heian Kamakura uh, period uh, of what you discussed. Um, it was a, uh, a bit surprising me, uh, that you were quoting Yoshishige no Yostane and Chiteki and uh, that Chome's uh, feelings expressed in uh, uh, Hojoki would be contrary to uh, Yoshige no Yostane because uh, it is well widely believed that Chome based his Hojoki on uh, the Chiteki and it has uh, quite a lot of quotations there. I haven't studied it myself, so uh, I'm taking your word, but uh, that mm -hmm. makes it even more uh, interesting. Uh, but uh, what I started to think about is what, that maybe what we have is a, a kind of a, a sort of a folk belief substratum in some Buddhist thinkers that they are speaking about this re or tamashi or kon as something of a hoban kind of thing, uh, something that uh, has like strayed over or, or from this syncretic character of um, uh, of uh, uh, some Japanese Buddhist thought, while others uh, such as Kukai and Dogen uh, would be kind of free or, or, or less infected by such syncretism, syncretism and, and uh, uh, therefore also uh, not inclined to um, 
uh, not inclined to believe in a, uh, in a ray or a tamashi that would uh, migrate to uh, 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 Amida's wonderful uh, uh, resort uh, uh, after departing from this body and so on. Yes, I, I thank you for your, 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 your remarks. Uh, no, 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 I, I just uh, um, mentioned the, the Chitai team, but it, it was not in reference to the, to the Hojoki um, or, or Chomei. Yes, uh, uh, but uh, uh, yeah, I just mentioned the case of Yoshishige no Yasutane and Genshin because it is probably the, 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 the text uh, I, I have mentioned is probably the, the first in the history of, uh, of Japan to, to say clearly that uh, Kon, uh, Tamashi, uh, is delivered from body as to gain the, um, uh, the Amida paradise. In, uh, probably the, uh, the, this idea was present before, of course, uh, but it is the first, uh, historically, it is the first text we, which, which clearly mentioned the uh, effect as such. It, uh, it is only this sense, in this uh, sense uh, that I uh, mentioned the text, you know, not, uh, it, which has no relation to the um, The, um, uh, of course, with Dogen, who probably criticized this kind of, of thoughts. Cho um, himself doesn't speak of the of, of the of the question, but uh, I, I was astonished by the fact was when he retired, he had the Ojo Yoshu of Genshin. Um, as a, a kind of pillow uh, uh, pillow book, but in fact, uh, when he was um, uh, um, old, uh, he had the, he was sixty or, or uh, fifty four, I think. So he, he began to 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 think about death. He doesn't use it. He is only uh, advocating orally. Uh, the, the Buddha Amida. And I, I think that he, 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 he marks a transition uh, between two, the, the two, per, two periods. The, yeah. yes. um, I'm very sorry to uh, interrupt, but uh, because of the time restriction, we need to close now. Yeah, I'm. Um, Sorry, this is um, partially my fault that as a chair, I didn't st start earlier so that I couldn't have, uh, we couldn't have um, not enough time. But uh, please uh, continue the discussion after what you are going back tomorrow? Mm, no, no, be here? no, not tomorrow. Uh, uh, you you uh, won't two, come? Two, two days after. Uh, two, two days after. So <laughs> you, you'll be here tomorrow <laughs> yes. as well. So. Please uh, have fruitful discussion during the, the rest of our conference. And I, I really want to, um, to sh show my gratitude for having this very rich uh, presentation. I, I, I heard you are still, this paper is still under, work, under in progress, progress. And you are going to publish after I let you know? I think, I think, I think we, everyone wants to yeah, read yes, yeah. as in, like, sorry, yeah, yes, in solitary yeah, yeah. silence, right? So, yeah, please, please. Um, no, no, I, I, uh, yes, of course, I, I thank, I thank you, the, um, the professor Steiner and, and Reinhardt for, for, this, for their remarks. For, uh, it gives me some ideas to, to make, to complete a little. Thank you very much again.
may have to your attention. Just an announcement for tomorrow. Uh, please look at your folder. There is this campus guide. And open it, <laughs> please, and look. Uh, the building for tomorrow is called Ramon Turro, and it's number 13 in front of the library. So uh, in order to reach to the building, please take, uh, you take the Wellington Street or Ramon Trias Fargar, both lead uh, to the main uh, door of the, this Ramon Turro building. So, but uh, this access will be closed, mm? okay? So if you come from outside, please take or Wellington or Ramon Trias Fargar Street, okay? And the restaurant in this uh, Jaume Prime building will be open tomorrow for us in case we need that, okay? So <laughs> that's my announcement. Thank you very much. Thank you.